आई एम संग्राम शिंदे फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर टूडे वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सोलर एनर्जी इन विच सोलर जियोमेट्री सो नंबर ऑफ एंगल्स आर देयर इन द सोलर जियोमेट्री सो वन बाय वन वी विल सी वॉट आर द एंगल्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड इन द सोलर जियोमेट्री सो फर्स्ट वन यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द अर्थ रोटेट्स अबाउट एन एक्सिस टिल्टेड 23.45 degree this is the degree from the normal to the elliptic so is that a line at right angle to the plane so always uh, the angle will be 23.45 degree this change uh, is represented by the term declination so we should know the declination angle the declination angle is the angle between the elliptic and the equa equatorial plane declination is the angle made by the line joining to the center of the sun and the earth with its projection on the equatorial plane it varies from maximum plus 23.5 degree on june 21 to minimum minus 23.5 on december 21 and zero on two equinox days generally two equinox uh, in the june and september okay so it depends on the number of days so first one first angle which we have to see it is a latitude angle angle made by the radial line joining to uh, to the given location to the center of earth with its projection on the equatorial plane latitude angle is the denoted by its it is a positive in northern hemisphere and negative in the southern uh, hemisphere so latitude and longitude angles i think everyone knows to uh, specify any location on the earth these two angles are very important so here this is the latitude angle generally we are measuring from the center of the earth toward the north or toward the south then declination angle it is a angular displacement of the sun from the plane of earth equator it is positive when measured above the equator line in the northern uh, hemisphere so declination i think uh, you can see on the screen the formula is given it is 23.45 sin in bracket 360 about 365 in bracket 284 plus n degrees so what is n it is the number of days so if you are taken the one example is given if you are taken june 21 uh this is the we can say leap year in which the february in february there are 29 uh, days so 31 it is the days in the january plus 29 is the days in the february plus 31 in days are the in the uh, march plus 30 number of days in the april plus 31 number of days in may plus 21 because till 21 uh, june we have to check what is the declination at that particular uh, in that particular month so n will be 173 uh, just put uh, n uh, is equal to 173 in that declination formula you are getting what is the declination on june 21 okay our angle this is the one angle which is required it is angular displacement of sun towards the east of west of local uh, meridian due to rotation of earth about its axis at any moment since the earth rotates about its axis once during 24 hours therefore omega generally we are calculating 360 divided by 24 means 50 degree per hour so how we are measuring the our angle it is always we have to measure i think it is given from the 12 hour solar time isn't it if the mid uh, day we can say it is 12 and uh, we can say at a uh, 9 m what is the hour angle 9 to 12 there are 3 hours 9 to 10 10 to 11 and 11 to 12 so 3 hours are there for every hour we are seen 15 degree will be uh, movement the earth can be move 15 degree per hour so how what is the hour angle 3 hours into 15 degree so it is 45 degree will be hour angle if you are measuring from 10 am to the 12 pm mid of the day then there are two hours so what is the hour angle 2 into 45 so uh, 2 into 15 it is 30 degree so in that way the hour angle is measured and it is required to calculate the angle of incident then inclination angle you can see the angle between sun rays and its projection on the horizontal surface is known as inclination angle so uh, you can see on the diagram also it is denoted by alpha in that so sun rays which uh, rays is connected to the center of the earth and its projection is shown on the earth so this angle will be it is the inclination angle 
next one zenith angle so it is the angle between sun rays and perpendicular to the horizontal so we already seen uh, with horizontal we already seen uh, now with perpendicular we are measuring the angle it is the zenith zenith angle you can see it is uh, z it is denoted by z or theta z we can see solar azimuth angle you can see this is the geometry which is shown on the uh, figure solar angle in the degrees along with the hori horizon east or west of the north it is horizontal angle so we are measuring on the surface not vertically okay so it is horizontal angle measured from the north to horizontal projection of the sun rays and it is considered consider positive west west wise so west wise we are measuring it is a positive so this is the solar azimuth angle and denoted by we can say a slope of angle or tilt angle it is the angle between inclined plane so if you are considering any plane on the surface then or it is a collector and the horizontal so it is generally denoted by beta i think beta is shown it is the inclination it is taken positive for a surface sloping towards south and negative for surface sloping towards the north surface azimuth angle it is very important uh, generally denoted by here also uh, a is there it is the angle in horizontal plane between the line due south and horizontal projection of the normal to the inclined plane or collector it is taken positive when measured from the south toward west isn't it so if uh, any it is inclined surface is shown here the sun rays is coming on the collector and you are taken the projection of the sun rays on the horizontal plane and we are measuring on the surface not when we are looking from the front we are measuring on the surface from south to the west so this is the angle it is the surface azimuth angle and uh, again it is uh, we are using for calculation of uh, angle of incident generally when we are uh, saying that collector is uh, locating due south it is projecting uh, due south then the surface azimuth angle will be zero in that case in that angle of incident this we have to calculate so it is the angle between sun rays falling on the plane surface or collector and the normal to the surface the incident angle is most important as it decides how much solar energy falls on the collecting surface so this is the angle of incident generally we are going to calculate so this is the beam radiation on inclined uh, plane so angle of incident we are calculating by using this formula i think you can see the formula which is written here it is cos theta i theta i means uh, angle of incidence so sin phi sin delta cos beta plus cos delta into cos theta a cos omega sin beta plus cos phi in bracket cos delta into cos omega into cos beta minus sin delta into cos theta a into sin beta bracket complete plus in bracket cos delta into sin theta a into sin omega into sin beta so the angles uh, in that formula already seen theta z is zenith angle delta will be declination angle phi will be latitude of the play, place where the plane exits beta angle made by the plane surface with the horizontal theta a is the azimuth angle and uh, omega uh, it is the hour angle we are showing it the azimuth angle theta is given by an equation it is cos theta a, it is th sin delta minus sin phi cos theta z divided by cos phi into sin theta okay so in that way you can calculate also the zenith angle how we are going to calculate the formulas are given so if beta will be 90 degree means uh, the surface will be horizontally placed then uh, the formula is given which is shown on the screen if beta will be uh, horizontal surface beta will be zero then then surface facing due south we already seen it is theta a will be zero then what is the formula is there so in that way somewhat changes are there in that particular formula okay so we have to put the values so that also sunrise and sunset and day length this formulas are given generally day length how we are going to calculate day length here 2 by 15 cos uh, inverse in bracket minus tan phi into tan delta by which we can calculate 
day length because we already seen in winter season somewhat day length is less and uh, in summer season day length will be increased okay thank you